Alright, so this is the beginning of the shooting phase. Now we have Gaskol Thoraka, biggest, baddest orc. And we have some knights, some purifiers. Now, if the purifiers were going to shoot at Gaskol, here are their weapons. Stormbolter. Its stats are Assault 2, Strength 4, AP 5. The halberds guy, halberd guys have storm bolters, and then their psi cannons, which are strength 7, AP 4, rending. Assault 2, heavy 4. So, assault means you can move and shoot and still assault. Heavy means you can't, you can, you, if you move, you can't shoot them. You have to stay stationary. So, psi cannons have two firing modes, which is unusual, which is kind of unusual, but I'm still going to use it as an example. So, if they were shooting at Gaskell, Normally you would have to check range, which, give me a minute, I'm doing this with one hand, 24 inch range for all their weapons, for storm bolters and side cannons. Obviously they're in range, they're about 6 inches away. But, normally you wouldn't check just because you know they're close enough, but in bigger games and they're farther away, you will have to check. And if, if you do measure... You have to declare your unit that you're shooting at. You have to say, my Grey Knights are shooting at Gaskell. But say Gaskell was all the way back here, and they were out of range, and I measured. They missed. So I can't say I'm going to shoot at them, shoot with these the Knights at Gaskell, and then not be in range, and then say I'm going to shoot at a target over here that's closer. So you can't pre-measure, pretty much. So just here we go for shooting. Here we go. So we're going to... Storm bolters get two shots each. There's three storm bolters, which is six shots. We get the brighter colored die. Okay, that's six shots. And then there's two side cannons. We're going to say that these guys moved the last time. Okay, so the big die are the side cannons. I'm going to roll these separately just so if you're just learning, you can you can understand it better. So, these guys are ballistic skill 4. So to find out what you need to hit on, you need to do your ballistic skill minus 7. No, 7 minus your ballistic skill. So 7 minus 4 is 3. So I need 3's to hit. So here we go. So I got 2 misses, which is moderately unusual. So now my strength is 7 and his toughness is 5. Gaskell's toughness is 5. I need anything but ones to wound him because I am two above his toughness. And my AP is four and his armor save is two up. So he still gets his armor save. The way, the way to negate an armor save is if your AP is equal to the person's armor save or below the armor save. So here we go. I'm going to roll him. I got a three and a five. So that's two wounds. And if there were any sixes, because it's rending, on a six you would... The person would get no armor save, but I didn't get any rending. So here we go. The saves on Gaskell is two or above. So on a one, I get a wound. Oh, I got a one. So he goes down to three wounds. Three. Okay. So now the Storm Balters are going to go and shoot him. Normally, oh, dropped a die. Normally, you would do these all at the same time and then put all the wounds on him at, a, at once. But I'm just doing this so you can see how it works. Storm Balters. Okay, this is really unusual. I got a lot of misses. So here comes the to wound. I am below, one below his toughness with the weapon strength. So I'm going to need five to hurt him. So I got one wound. So he's going to roll it. He gets his armor save of two up. And he makes it. So I've only put one wound on him. So... Now Gaskell's gonna shoot back. Actually, that's that's pretty much the shooting phase phase. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some shooting with orcs so you can see how bad they are at shooting. So you can see. So you can see the difference. Alright. So here comes the shooting with orcs. Alright, so now we have some orc lutas. These guys um, are probably the best unit in the orc codex in my opinion for shooting. So they get D3 shots. That's not, not 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 that normal in the codexes, but D3, a D3 is 1 or 2 is a 1, 3 or 4 is a 2, and a 5 or a 6 is a 3. So we're going to see how many shots we get. So I got a 6. That is a 6 on my die. So they get 3 shots each. 
So that's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. I think. Yeah, 21 dice. Okay, so you can also just get 7 die 3 times. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So here we have 21 dice. Oh my god, it's hard to pick up all with one hand, but I'm going to try to do it. Alright, so I think I got it. Oh, and these guys, is, these guys are range is 48, so obviously they're in range. That's pretty much almost the whole board. So now, orcs are worse. They're ballistic skill uh, 2. So 2 minus 7 is 5. So they're, they hit on 5s. They're not as good as other armies. They're one of the worst, along with Tyrant. So here we go. So you're going to take out all the misses, but for right now I'm only going to take out hits, just because that's quicker. So we got these hits. These are all hits. That's very unusual. That many. So now these guys' weapons are strength 7, my nice toughness, or toughness 4. So here we go, I'm going to have to make anything but 1s. So 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, and 6s all wound me, and I still get my armor sweep. So I'm going to take out any 1s. So that is 3, 6, 8 wounds. So now I have to allocate these to the guys. So 2 on the side cannons, 2 on the halberds. One on the Knight of the Flame. Two on the side cannons. One on the Halb. So on the side cannons. On the three up, they have a three up armor save. So on a three, I survive. Anything below that, I die. Here we go. So one, one side cannon died. So, halberds. Wow, I rolled all ones. So both halberds die. And the Knight of the Flame with the hammer. That's a three, so he's good. So, I was brought down under 50%, so I would normally have to take a Mirage check, but I am fearless, so I do not. If you would, though, you would have to get your leadership and get two dice and roll under it. My leadership is 10, I got a six, so normally if I wasn't fearless, I would have made it. So, that's that. So you can see how good orcs are, they just need a lot, a lot of shots to make up for their bad ballistic skill. So that's pretty much all in the shooting except uh, running and I'll get to that next. Um, what you can do in the shooting phase instead of shooting you can do something called running when that is when you roll a dice and you get whatever you get on that you get to move the extra so instead of shooting I get to roll this dice let's see what I get I got a six so I get to move an extra six inches. I don't feel like getting my tape measure out, but now I can't shoot this turn because I ran. So that's a good thing for like the armies that are good in assault, like orcs and uh, tyranids and stuff like that. But now I can't shoot with them. So I'm gonna go and I'm, I'm gonna probably end up making the assault video when I get back from vacation because I'm gonna be on vacation for about 10 days. So, I'm not going to be making videos lately, so this is like my going away gift, I guess you could say. So, yeah, I hope that clears some stuff up for any of you that maybe had some questions about the game or maybe even the new people who want to think about getting into the game.